Good evening and welcome to Wapakoneer High School where tonight WOSM brings you the Division IV District Final Championship match between the number one ranked team in the state, that would be the New Bremen Cardinals, and the number two ranked team in the state, that would be the Marion Local Flyers. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to be play by play. Alongside your color commentary, Mr. John Dornick. And John, this is a match that could be well in, in right state in a couple of weeks. I think it could be. I think maybe the Northwest District has to uh, reassemble how they're uh, putting the sectionals together. Maybe go to a super sectional where we get the top teams playing further on down the line instead of the district finals. We have five teams out of the Mid -America, or Mid American Western Conference that are playing in uh, district finals now, ready to go to regionals. Coldwater has already stamped their birth to uh, the regional regionals. They'll go up to Lake High School. Um, New Bremen, Marion Local here, they'll go down. The winner of that will go down to Northmont and uh, play down there. They'll play against the winner of Jackson Center, Fayetteville Perry at Northmont High School down in Dayton. So, yeah, Mark, this is a, a, a game that... Uh, should be played a lot further along in the season. Well, Mary Local, they are 23-1. and one. They were co-champions in the Midwest Athletic Conference, but that one was to this Mary Local team. New Bremen's single loss this year was to Mary Local, and two things kind of stood out, and that mostly involved serve, receive, and aces. Yes, well, that's one thing I looked at as a coach was uh, seeing how those teams, and both of these teams have uh, are pretty much up at the top of the Midwestern Athletic Conference, and... Uh, in all of the, in all of the categories, even the hitting percentage, the number of aces, the number of blocks, the number of assists, and the number of digs. So, if you have stats like that, and in talking to both coaches tonight, talk to uh, Coach Anthony Chapel from um, Marion Local, and he said they were just going to try to serve the ball better, try to serve to Miss Highcamp to uh, try to take her a little bit out of the offense. Um, talking to Coach Kramer from uh, New Bremen. She said that they just want to do what they do and do it better. So this is a great crowd here tonight. Oh. Music's jacked up. We're ready to go. <laughs> the only place I'd rather be is on the stand. It, it, the, the intensity, the atmosphere is just this it's an incredible environment. We think we're in a district championship game, and we got uh, two more weeks of regionals and state to come after this one. Mark, I, I tell you what, uh, if you can't get the hair standing up on the back of your neck on a game yeah. like this, um, nobody else can. So we've got some good officials here tonight. Beth Edwards is our R1. Tim Claybaugh is our R2. And so uh, they'll be taking care of business in between the lines. Davina Stiles, James Grimm are our line judges this evening as well. And trick or treat must be over in Maria Stein because all the Halloween costumes <laughs> just came in with their student body. And uh, this is going to be a, a hopefully a, an exciting match as we have uh, built it up so much. This is Nora Eckstein to serve for Mary Local. They're in the blue this evening. Their libero, and that would be Lydia Eifert wears white. New Bremen's in the red with the black trim. And their libero, Abby Powers, is in white as well. Here's Schrader's set. Cross court hit. And opening point will go to Rihanna Paul. Mark, it's no wonder Nora Eckstein is leading off serving for Marion Local here. She led the team with 65 aces. Here's Melina Schrader in a, in a match that's going to be full of first and second team all MAC players this evening. She is one of them. Here's the set. Here's the hit. And that kill is going to go to, was that Eve Mesher? Uh, yes. I'm uh, not sure whether it was Mesher or whether it was number 20 Evers hit that one. I think it was Eve Mesher. So we're tied at one, and with that, Julia Moeller will enter. She will serve now and serve from the back, or set from the back row. I think Julia just came out there, Mark. And that serve is a little bit short. It's 2-1, New Bremen Cardinals. I'm sorry there, uh, Natalie Ev Ev Evers came out and Julia Moeller came in. Sorry, Mark. So Julia Moeller's will set. She wears number five. This is her opposite number, Kier Steiniger. She will serve now for the Cardinals. Here's the pass, here's the set. And that kill goes to Reagan Kramer. We're tied at two. Hustling in is Chloe Ronebaum to play in the front row. She wears number 28 for Marion Local. Here's Moeller to serve. And did they get to it and keep it in play? And they did. But right there at the net to make a play on it was Lindsey Koenig. That was a very smart play on Miss Koenig's part there. She saw the ball that was going to make it over the net, 
as soon as it broke the plane of the net, she was up putting it down. I think uh, New Bremen was just a little uh, out of position. Here's Regan Kramer to serve again. Here's the set. This will go to Megan Reinhardt, and Megan Reinhardt scores. We're tied at three. This is a couple of fast-paced offenses, Mark, so uh, we can see there might be a lot of quick points, and there could be some long points. Here's Abby Powers. She is the libero. She was a first-team North, uh, North Midwest Athletic Conference player this year. That ball is hit. Good play by Schrader, but not good enough. The tie is 4-3 uh, now, Mary Local. And checking in will be Eva Unrast. And is that Nicole Frank? It is. A little back row, front row trade. And Eva will go back to serve with 23 aces on the season. Both teams play a lot of girls here tonight, Mark. And there's an ace for her. Talking to Coach Chapel before uh, the match here, he said that's one thing they were going to try to do is to serve Olivia Heitkamp, maybe to keep her out of the offense just a little bit. Unrast will serve again the sophomore. And that is Heitkamp right there. Good diving play in the back row, however, by Unrast. Schrader tips and saves it, and it's pushed to the back row and a point. Good play, Mary Rindler. We're going to see uh, two good setters for Marion Local in uh, Miss Evers and uh, Julia Moeller and, uh, of course, Melina Schrader for New Bremen. Here's the server, Heitkamp. Back set. Powers gets to that one. Schrader dumps it over, but a good play by the libero or attempt anyway by Eifert, but she couldn't keep it in play. Coach Chapel was worried about when Melina Schrader got into the front row just because what a great setter she is, but she can also attack the ball. We'll talk about her numbers as this match proceeds. Olivia Heitkamp with a score at fives. The ball's tipped over by Koenig. Schrader tipped that one to an open area. Boy, is she good at that, John. <laughs> she's so athletic, and she's got some great hops on her, too, so that helps. Marina Schrader, 797 assists in 79 sets and 124 kills. And that number seems to have gone up as the season goes along. Here's a hit, and that will be a point for Chloe Ronebaum. We're tied at six. That Hello. brings Stella Hillsman in. It also brings Natalie Evers in. Coach Chapel talked about their kind of interchangeable parts here for uh, the Marion local squad. Schrader will set. And off a blocker, that will be Megan Reinhardt's score. 7-6. Amelia Dammeyer enters, as does Rihanna Paul. Here's Amelia Dammeyer. Frank hits that one, played out of the net well. Schrader hits. Frank hits that one, but she hits it long. 8-6 Cardinals. Wow, this is an exciting match so far. Whenever Melina Schrader's in the front row, you cannot sit back on your heels. Dammeyer serves, skips it across the top of the net. This will be Hillsman. And she miscontacted this. Attempted set, it's 8-7. We'll see uh, if the line has been set now on the ball handling for the night, and we'll see how it goes. That's what coaches want, right? Just give Just, me something consistent. That's right. Yep. Set the line early. Here's Lydia Eifert to serve. To Powers, her counterpart at Libero. And that kill goes to Rihanna Paul. 9-7. April Baker will enter. April will serve, the freshman. Wow, it's amazing how they sprinkle these coaches with these experienced teams, sprinkle in freshmen and sophomores. Good serve. Schrader tips it to the back row. Good effort by Unrath, but couldn't tape it in play. And our first three-point lead of the match will go to the Cardinals. We've seen Melina Schrader in the front row and taken uh, three kills over the net 
left back, right back, and in the front left corner. And she has one more rotation where she is in the front row. That ball sails long, so it's 10-8. Mary Rindler will replace April Baker. That's one of those situations you got a JV player who's had a good year as a freshman serving the ball. Let's stick her in, let her serve a little bit, but then you know, go back to our regular rotation. I'm sure she's played a lot. And Powers got to it, and they keep it alive. Free balled over. And tipped to an open area, but missing the spot is Reagan Kramer. It's 11-8. No touch by our line judges. That was a good. That was a good shot trying to go high hands, and she just missed the high hands. Here's Melina Schrader, who now has rotated to the back row and will serve. Mesher hit that ball. Schrader just pushes it over. Here's the libero set, and to Powers. And they can't quite keep it alive on the kill by Rihanna Paul. Mark, we talked earlier, uh, both Abby Powers and uh, Lydia Eifert there, two of the best Libros in northwestern Ohio, if not all the state of Ohio. Tip to an open area, and that's going to be a point. Is it down? I thought it was. Ball popped back up. You know, to, to take that farther, John, they were both first-team all-conference. So I'm reading through the rod. Okay, so Lydia Eifert was the, the libero of the year. And you read about one more space, and then you see Abby Powers' name. And you go, no, oh, <laughs> there wasn't a libero of the year. There's two of them there. Here's Schrader set. And that off a blocker goes Rihanna Paul. She has had a nice opening set. Rihanna Paul, number two on uh, the Bremen's uh, team in kills with 188. And that makes 189. Megan Reinhardt enters to play the front row. And when she does that, Kara Steiniger will enter to serve and then play in the back row. And that one goes long. 13-10. Both these coaches have uh, all their players defensively in great base position. So that's why you see a lot of defensive plays being made. And back-to-back -back service airs. When you get down to the uh, this area, the, the Shelby County, Mercer County, and then down through that area, there's a lot of risk-reward with serve, where the northern part seems to play a little bit more uh, safety serve, I guess. No, I was going to say, uh, talking to uh, Coach Kramer, that's her, been her line all along, risk-reward. And unable to try to keep it inside, the antenna was, antenna was Tori Ronebaum, and she could not do so. And for the first time, a team has a five-point lead. That would be the New Bremen Cardinals. Powers will serve again. Steininger got to that one. This kill will be by Reinhardt. Back set, the ball that time was hit by Mesher. Steininger will set this time, and that's blocked. And they can't quite keep it alive on the kill attempt by Olivia Heitkamp. Two blockers there at the net, sent that one back. Ava Unrast and Nicole Frank come in for Marion Local. This is Ava to serve. 5-6 Southamore. And another service error. Wonder if Nerve might be a little bit a part of this tonight here. You know, with the atmosphere mm -hmm. around here, it's uh, tough until they get a few uh, points under their belt. Olivia Heitkamp serves this ball. Back set, just rolled across that time by Koenig. This will be Reinhardt, and Megan scores. Ball was Seven. placed nice in the back row here after uh, Lydia Eifert uh, had to dive and still couldn't quite get a hold of it. And it was our first time out of this match. We'll go to the very local Flyers. They trail by six. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard is presented by New Bremen Insurance in New Bremen. Contact the newest agent, Mason Cuck, for all your insurance needs in the New Bremen and in the surrounding area. First time out, Marion Local, John. Well, I'm sure Anthony uh, Chapel just told his team, just settle down. 
get back in this thing one point at a time. Don't try to make too much of a go of it right away. Here's the all-conference player, a junior. Olivia Heitkamp, first team all-conference player. This hit will be by Rodebaum. And now we're going to go back set. And that kill will be chalked up by Lindsey Koenig. The score coming out of the timeout. We've got Julia Moeller that was a setter. She's coming off the floor now, but it's amazing how she set the ball to the left side and then distributed it back behind her to the right side here. Natalie Evers will enter to serve this one. Her team trailing by five in the first set. Frank and Nicole Frank scores. Back to back points for Marion Local. Sure is nice having a lefty out there as your opposite. It is. And on the overpass, Flyers score again. Another ace. Got into the antenna outside, or out into the post outside the antenna. And once again, Evers will serve. Back, hit to the back row that time by Rindler. Frank winds up. She hits it to Steininger. And Powers just pushes it over. Powers got to that play by Hillsman. And that point gets chalked up by Chloe Ronenbaum. Never say die on any point. That's why they just get their arms out, poke it up. Somebody else will get it over. Four consecutive points coming out of the timeout. Has cut the lead to two. Schrader will set high camp. Uh, she didn't look like she got wore out right there, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just looked at the expression on Coach Chapel's face yeah. down there. You're thinking, wow, we served her. We tried to take her out of the offense, and she still put it on the floor. Cross court. That she did as Amelia Dammeyer, the junior, will enter to serve. S set, and that's going to come up short, 19-15. Set was just a little bit too far off of the net for her to do anything with it, and she just tried to shove it over. Here's Amelia Dammeyer again, 47 aces for her this year. Back set Frank to high camp, and that's going to get over the net. Evers will just dump it over. Powers got to it, but couldn't save it. Good play in the front row. I tell you what, Natalie Evers uh, hid that well and then just dumped it over the net. Abby Powers tried to get to it. She did get to it, just couldn't get it where anybody could play it. 5'8", sophomore is Natalie Evers. Here's the libero to serve, and she chucks up an ace. There's Lydia Eifert, her 32nd of the year. 1917. And our R2 was motioning something to our R1, hence the short break there. And kind of a miss hit, but get a, a kill to Rihanna Paul. You know, speaking about that, Mark, that's why one reason why I think they should go to the headphones. You know, mm -hmm. you and I can talk back and forth to each other. The officials should have that same uh, same opportunity. Here's that what we mentioned earlier today. April Baker will step in, the freshman, to serve. Good serve to the back row. And they free ball it over. Cross court set and kill. Chuck that one up to Rihanna Paul. I tell you what, when you put that ball on a platter out there like that, it makes it easy, but she still put the ball deep in the corner. Second timeout for the Marion Local Flyers. We're going to break also. It's 21 17 New Bremen in the opening set. We're back at Wapak Canada High School. New Bremen with a four-point lead in the opening set. Baker will serve again, and an ace chalk it up as it died in front of the back line. Regan Kramer was playing it all along, decided to pull her hands back and just dropped, fell right in, right in front of our line judge, Davina Stiles. 22-17. Baker again to serve. Good serve. 
Nicole Frank. And they keep it alive. Wow. And this time there, Schrader's going to set. And going off a blocker for a point is Olivia Dammeyer. Wow, that was a great rally, Mark. Well, the Bremen just wouldn't let the ball hit the floor. Here's Baker. Served three consecutive points. That set went to Reagan Kramer. And she scores to make it 23-18. Let the freshman come back into play, and uh, she hit one right off. She was in good position, had her hands out, platform out just right. Still shanked it. Nora Eckstein will serve this one. She had 65 aces this year. That led Marion Local. Back set, and what? Double contact, 23-19. Think she's raising the bar on the line a little. Next time to serve again. Second team, Mac player, and there's an ace for her. Hit the tape and roll it over. Schrader just dumps it, but that time the libero's there ready to play it, and then Powers gets to that one. Schrader again. Here's the libero Eifert to set. And Heitkamp whacked it off of Natalie Evers. Mark, that's a play that a lot of small colleges don't even run, that D set coming out of the right, right back row. Um, Melina Schrader set it right up. Olivia Danmeyer back there took it over and down. She took that from behind the 10-foot line all the way cross court with a lot on it. There's oh, overpass, got it over the net. Here's Schrader to set. Heitkamp again and oh. got it in. Yes, sirree. Heitkamp goes right down the line on a good set from Schrader and the opening set will go to Nebrima in 25-20. Back to set two after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. That scoreboard is sponsored by New Bremen Insurance in New Bremen. Contact the newest agent, that would be Mason Cuck, for all of your insurance needs in the New Bremen and surrounding areas. Opening set, 25-20 in favor of the New Bremen Cardinals. They did so by scoring six out of the last nine points. I think if we can look back on that first set, I think uh, New Bremen just passed the ball a little better, got it in better position where Melina Schrader could either take it over herself or get it to her hitters. And she has spread the ball around between uh, Olivia Heitkamp and uh, let's see who else, uh, Rihanna Paul has quite a few kills there. And then uh, Melina Schrader has three or four herself. Good pedigrees for both of these teams. Marion Local has played in the state tournament seven times. They won it five, going back to 2013 was the last time. And four state appearances and two champions for the New Bremen Cardinals. And I guess that's what you expect when these two teams match up. Our two, Tim Clayball, moving some bodies around as we prepare for this one. As John said earlier, the, this is the region of 16 or a part of that. And the winner of this will play on the 2nd of November at 6 p.m. That will be at Northmont. And they will play the winner of Jackson Center and Fayette Perry. And that game is played Saturday afternoon at Troy. Finals are uh, the 5th of November, and that is a 2 p.m. in the afternoon time. Both Here is Melina Schrader, sir. Sorry, John. Both squads have backed up their starting lineup one rotation. Tip to the middle part of the court by Kramer. Here's Powers will set. And that time, Olivia Heitkamp's shot is a little short. And this time, the opening point will go to Marion Local. Eve Mesher steps in for uh, Eva Unrost. Nor Eckstein will serve this. And it just wouldn't quite crawl across the tape. We're tied at one. 
Very local got here. They defeated Minster and they defeated uh, New Knoxville both in three sets. New Bremen got here with a win over Temple Christian and also over Upper Soda Valley. Those also were three set matches. Here's Steininger to serve. This ball will be set to Kramer. Reagan hits it through a blocker. Schrader sets. Dammeyer hit that one. This will go cross court to Reinhardt. And that ball was touched. I thought it was. 2 1. LJ1 had that touch, made it easier job on our R1. It would be James Grimm, who is the uh, line judge that John was referring to a moment ago. Here's Steininger to serve again. Powers went down to get that one, and Schrader will set backcourt. Megan Reinhardt, diving play by Eckstein. And then from behind the 10 foot line is Kramer. This is Reinhardt again. Powers went down to get it, and they couldn't save it out of the net on the kill. That was Kramer in the middle, I think. I was following the fly of the ball instead of who hit it. Got to realize when um, Lena Schrader's in the back row and that pass is on the line that somebody else is going to have to help it. Here's Julia Moller, Moller to serve. 3-2 now, New Bremen. Going to have to start eliminating errors like that. Here's Abby Powers, one of the four seniors on the Diana Kramer's team. It's set out of the middle, big hit out of the middle by Mesher. And then did they keep it alive? Nope, she illegally contacted it. That ball gets down below your waist on the block. It's really hard to play it legally, John. Yeah, you got to get your fist, uh, fist bump that thing back up. R1 had a lot of help from Coach Kramer that time also. 4-2, <laughs> ace for Abby Powers, 5-2. Nice serve. 30 aces for her this year, 328 digs. And Abby even found time to get two kills this year. I think uh, New Bremen's doing the same thing that Marion Local was doing to them, trying to serve to uh, Lindsey Koenig here, trying to uh, get her out of the offense as much as possible. That was Koenig right there. Be played over by Schrader on a free ball. Kramer hits it again. Heitkamp. They're finding different ways to get her the ball, but so far on the right side has been the strong side. It, John, is she as good of a right-handed player in that spot? I mean, we've had a lot of good left-handers over there, but she's really good on the right side. She can jump off one foot, take that slide out of the middle coming out of there, or take it even off of one foot. Back where she is now. That one was off two. Powers went down to get that one. Schrader will set. Here's Heitkamp again. Same spot, but this time the ball went to Eifert. Steininger gets to that one. This hit will be by Reinhardt. Eifert got to that one. And Kramer hits it through the block. That was a nice ball. Nice pass out of the back row coming up there. And uh, Julia Moeller set that ball just nice out on a platter. Here is Reagan Kramer, one of the seven seniors for Anthony Chapel. Just tipped over that time by Heitkamp. Here's the set, and illegal. It was. 7-3. Here's Olivia Heitkamp to serve. Just a junior and a first-team all-conference player. He tipped to the middle of that time by Koenig. And Reinhardt gets it inside the back line. It's 8-3 Cardinals. Both these teams, Mark, have a couple of nice players coming back to start the nucleus for next year. We're not looking to next year, though. They want to keep playing this year. Heitkamp again with her team up by five. Rombaum hit that one, played, and good job keeping it alive by King, but they couldn't keep it in play then on the kill attempt, and it's 9-3. That was a great play. The ball was blocked right back at her, and she just fisted it up, just took it out of bounds then after. 
And Heidkamp serve went off the side of her hand and missed. It's 9-4. Ava Unrast in for Eve Mesher. Nicole Frank in also. Ball from over in the sideline as Unrast will serve. This is one of those players you mentioned. Ava is just a sophomore coming back next year. Powers has to die for it, and then Heitkamp can't keep it alive on the ace, 9-5. The ball was shanked out of bounds, and still the second player got the hit number two on it, just couldn't keep it anywhere in play. Powers had to go down and get that one. Schrader will set Heitkamp again, and from behind the 10-foot line, and good play. Here's Frank to hit it. Schrader hits that one. And she gets an, a, a kill. You know, Mark, it's just amazing, her body control. You know, being a right-handed player, playing from the right front there, that she can turn her body and square her shoulders enough to get a good swing at that ball. The first several times, she used her left hand and dumped it to the corner on near as close as us. That time, she went cross-court with her right hand. Yeah. That ball is blocked on the kill attempt by Ronebaum. It's 11-5. Mary Rindler was in there also, so give her an assist on that. There is Amelia Dammeyer. Set. Haven't gone that often to Koenig that way. There's that left-handed tip, and she missed it. <laughs> she hides that so well like she's going to jump set, and then she <laughs> just brings one hand down and tips the ball behind her with the other. Natalie Evers, the sophomore, will... Serve this one and become the setter. Well, good kill that time by Mary Rindler. 12-6. You know, we talk about all these sets that Melina Schrader's throwing up there. Uh, Coach Kramer says she's one of the biggest gym rats she has. She's in the gym practicing all the time. It shows. Here's April Baker, who had a good service run in the opening set. And just got another ace. 13-6. My score sheet says she has one ace coming into the day. <laughs> How about that? Well, we're going to get a flyer timeout. We're going to break. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTOW.com and click Donate Here, and you can do that 24 hours a day. Baker served that one well again. That was bumped to the back line and missed by Stella Hillsman. John, we're looking at our stat page. Marion Local has scored just one point on serve. They've been side out every other time. New Bremen has not been side out in this set. That's amazing. Float serve. Rotterbaum's shot goes up that time, and the blocker couldn't control it, so it'd be break the run at 14-7. You know, April Baker's only played like 30 sets all year long out of, you know, the 80 or so that they've played. It's a big stage for her. Set by Evers. That ball is tipped over by Frank. Schrader hits it with two hands that time. And then it's going to be free balled over by Unrast. And Rihanna Paul goes through a block for a kill. There's another side out. Get those high hands, take it out. Get it off the block for a point. Schrader rotates to the back row. And will serve this ball. And she gets an ace, 16-7. A little miscommunication there on the Flyers part that way. How about some numbers on Melina Schrader through 24 matches? 124 kills, 76 aces, 797 assists, and 178 digs. It's a career for some people. Schrader back sets this time, and Heitkamp hit that one hard to Evers, and they're going to keep it alive on the play by Kramer. And then Heitkamp hit it out. 
she's so used to the ball going in, she just she was begging that line judge to <laughs> put that flag down. It is 16-8. The Cardinals have the Flyers doubled up here in set two as Nora Eckstein serves. She's a second team all-conference player, just a junior. Leading server for aces for the Flyers. This will be Paul. And through the block, Brianna Paul scores. Kiera Steiniger and uh, Megan Reinhardt back in for Bremen. That means Kiera Steiniger gets to serve. Kiera back in the far left corner. Big hit by Kramer, and it went long. 16-10, and John, that trend has continued. New Bremen has not yes. had a side out in the set. And we're gonna get a Marion local timeout. 18-10, Cardinals, you're watching high school, 18-8. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Season, season 18 of the Sports Report on Friday nights. You can join Patrick Candler as he covers playoff football now through the first weekend of December. You're watching WSN. You can catch him on WTLW. Ten-point lead, Cardinals here in set two. Steininger serves again. This hit will be by Reagan Kramer. Steininger will set. This will be Olivia, Olivia Dammeyer. Eifert will set as a libero, and did it go in? It did on a hit by Kramer, the tough Reagan, angle. Reagan Kramer put a thumbs down shot on that and took it cross court inside of the 10 meter, or three meter line, I'm sorry. It's 18 and nine. Damar hits that one. And on the kill attempt, Kramer hits that one. Ball falls on. Oh, I think yeah, she pointed incorrectly, didn't she? Yeah. As she started, she pointed for New Bremen and admits she made a mistake. And so it's now it's 18 or 19 10. Eifert set that one, and hit's going to go long. It's 20-10. They did score a point off of a serve that time. You know, Mark, as much action has been going on at the net, we have not had one net violation yet tonight. That's a good point, John. There's powers to serve. Set. Reinhardt. And Megan Reinhardt scores. Seems like New Bremen's uh, rotating the ball, spreading it out a little bit. A little bit of everybody's getting the ball between. Uh, well, they, they pass the ball well to Melina Schrader, and then she's finding everybody. That hasn't gotten what you'd call a quote a go to person tonight. Kramer hit that one. Heitkamp hits this one and gets a point. 22-10. Bremen has the very local Flyers on their heels. Here's Abby Powers again. Let's see if uh, Olivia Heikamp stays on the right side or whether she'll move into the middle. Looks like she was staying on the right side. Long. Ball a little long on the serve. 21-11. Reagan Kramer drops back to serve. And along again, 22-11. It'll be a high camp. I was going to say, maybe they can get us a bag of popcorn when yeah, that ball rolls ball out rolled there. out there, yeah. Just over the surface of the net. I can't play that one, but the overpass and put it right in there with the wheelhouse of Lindsey Koenig. Lindsey did a nice job on that. Instead of just tipping it into the middle of the floor, she directionally blocked that ball over to the right side for a point. And at 22-11, that's the first side out in set number two for New Bremen. 
Here's Unrash to serve. That was tipped across by Rindler. This will be Ronabom. Nope, we're going to get a legal contact. 23 12. Amelia Damar to serve. And I'm trying to make a play off a difficult pass. The call for illegal contact is 24 12, and we're at set point here in set number two. I wish I could read Coach uh, Chappell's uh, <laughs> mind back there, but I don't think I could put it on paper. Ronabom hits, nice and that's time pass. Chloe Ronabom gets a point. Nice pass, nice hit by Chloe Ronabom. Doing the way you want it, get that pass to your setter, and she sets up your hitter who puts it away. This game's easy, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> when you're setting up here about 10 rows, here's Natalie Evers. Cross court set, Reagan Paul, Rihanna Paul. And Rihanna Paul puts that one away, and the second set, like the first one, will go to New Bream in set three coming up. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by New Bremen Insurance in New Bremen. Contact their newest agent, that would be Mason Cuck, for all of your insurance needs in the New Bremen and in the surrounding area. Opening two sets go to the New Bremen Cardinals, 25-20, 25-13. Mark Schein and John Dornick here from a nearly sold out, I think, John. And remember, oh. when you first started doing volleyball X number of years ago, would you have thought you'd have a 3,000 seat gym full on a, a district oh. night? You could uh, hear me uh, blowing my nose when I was on the stand up there. Now all of a sudden it's so loud in here. The music's rocking, the fans are rocking. This is a great atmosphere tonight. So back to what we're dealing with. This needs to be a good start to this set for Marion Local. They dropped the first two and confidence seems a little low. They need a good start right here. You know, they've got to quit siding out, letting um, New Bremen side out right away. Get a few run of their points there. And that's the way to do it. You get the overpass and Reagan Kramer puts it down. That's a good job. Melina Schrader tried to get there and uh, go for the joust at the net, but uh, she was a little late, so she got the block down. This is Nora Eckstein, who is serving to open this set, and Powers has to die for it off the net. This is Rihanna Paul, and we're tied at one. Just what you said, Mark. We got to yep. you know, quit siding out, letting New Bremen side out. Here is New Bremen Schrader to serve. Is that your brother walking in front of us there? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Twin. <laughs> Evers just dumps it over. Schrader pushes it to the back row, but a good play by Eckstein. Set by Eifert to Powers. Four contacts? Nope. Must have been touched in there. And then, oh, good play in the back row by Eckstein. That's the overpass and put away in the front row by Olivia Dammeyer. Whoa, 2-1. You know what I want to know? Amelia Dammeyer and Olivia are, are twin sisters. Okay. So why is it Amelia plays in the back row and Olivia plays in the front row? <laughs> Just so there's a Dammeyer in there all the time. You got it. And there's an ace nice. to be chalked up. It's 3-1. I suppose they could work on their game at home, right? I'll set you and you put it away. I, I Here's Schrader, 3-1. Cardinals off to a good start here in set number three. Powers was able to get to that one and to keep it alive, and Powers free balls it, and it counts. It does. Wasn't sure whether she properly contacted the ball or not, but apparently she did. Uh, well, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> And that's what every official has to do when you start doing this thing. You got to figure out how you're going to play uh, every ball you uh -oh. know, and do it do it uh, consistently well. And there's an ace for Schrader. It's 5-1. And we're going to get a yellow card. Would explain that one, John? 
I think that uh, Coach Chappell's been a little bit disgusted here with the R1's ball handling, and he's been chirping at the R2, and the R2, instead of going down and just talking to Coach it, Chappell, it, uh, he let it get away from him, and the only thing you can do then to give it is to bring the card out. What actually does a yellow card mean as, as far as the mask goes? Just a warning? Yeah, it's just a warning right now. I always used to say it just means sit down and shut up, but, you know, it's just trying to keep control back here. Well, Melina Schrader just chalked up another ace. She has scored five consecutive points as she has served at 6-1. She serves again. And that one goes wide by Eve Mesher, 7-1. You know, Marion's just got to eliminate. They've had more uh, unforced errors tonight than I can ever remember seeing them have. A lot of that's because of the team wearing red, and the ball goes off the tape, and it scores. It's 8-1, and Marion Local is going to take a timeout. Cardinals 8-1 in the third set. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by New Bremen Insurance in New Bremen. Contact their newest agent, Mason Cuck, for all your insurance needs in New Bremen and in the surrounding area. See if Marion Local gets it going, and they do on a put away. No? The ball was down. The yeah, ball was I, I down. thought the line judge called it. I was waiting yeah. to see. Uh, they kept on playing. I guess maybe couldn't hear the whistle in this environment, maybe. I didn't hear a whistle either, but you know, you got to kind of peek at those line judges yes. at times when the when the play's moving this fast. You just got to take a peek when you get a chance. Coming out of the timeout, they score, does Marion Local. Now they go to service. Back set. That was Paul's hit. And then an error trying to hit it across. It's 8 3. First error by Melina Schrader on taking that ball over, either uh, power wise or just dumping the ball. Service again by the setter, Moeller. Heitkamp hits it to Eifert. And Eifert says, I got it, and free balls it over. And is it in? It is out on the kill attempt by Rihanna Paul. It's 8 4. Three consecutive points coming out after the timeout. Puts a little life in the Flyers. That was a nice place to put that ball right down the line, though, Mark. And then she left her serve in the net, left it short, 9 4. Same service rotation here. Uh, Steiniger. Steiniger. Yep. She goes to serve, and Megan Reinhardt, Reinhardt comes in the front row. Yep. Steiniger serves. It's played over on a good play. I can't hit that one and gets a point. 10 4. John, players really like that when they know when they're going to step in through each rotation. You know, that's just gonna, my turn's coming up. Okay, now I'm ready. You know, coach doesn't even really have to make that sub call. You know, they know when they're coming in. Coach Kramer giving service instructions to Steininger where she wants the ball hit. Oh, Reagan Kramer with a lot of authority put that one away. It is 10-5, New Bremen. Here's Reagan to serve as well. You know, it's good to see some of uh, the Megan or the Marion local flyers get untracked a little bit here. They have scored six or four of the last six points. They have a long way to go to climb back in this one, but there's a lot of time left in set three as well. As Reinhardt hits it over. This is Ronabaum, and she scores. Here come the flyers. Chloe stepping up a little bit. I think the passing has been just a little bit off of the net where they can't get Lindsey Caning the ball set in the middle, so they've had to go outside. Chloe Runebaum stepped up. There's Reagan Kramer. Another inch or so, that's a point. Unforced errors, Mark. Oh. Yeah, you got a rally going here. You scored five out of the last seven and then you leave a serve short. Here's 10-7, here's Powers to serve. 30 aces for her on the season, and she leaves it short, so it's 10-8. <laughs> Back uh, at you. And Ava Unrast will go to the back row to serve this ball. Nicole Frank's in the front row. She's that lefty opposite. 
And on the overpass, Schrader gets to it. And the ball will be hit long by Megan Reinhardt. It's 10-9. Flyer fans starting to come to life over here as they see their team make this rally back. Schrader saves it. And what do we got? Somebody in the net? Nope. Took a long contact. I think she said she threw that ball, Mark. Caught it a little bit behind her head. Took it from one plane to the next. We're tied at 10. No, it's 11-9. My mistake. And Heitkamp scores. I guess that's one way to stop a rally is give Olivia Heitkamp the ball right at the, right at the net. 12-9. Back set, Powers plays it. Schrader dumps it over, but that one was played by Moeller. And then left-handed Frank. Powers will set. Ronebaum hits, touch, nope, 13-9. I think that's almost an uh, ingrained uh, thing that they think that's a touch all the time. Everybody jumps up once a touch. I can't serve that ball. Two-handed push to the back row, a really nice play that time by Lindsey Koenig, 13-10. Lindsay just hasn't got on track so far. Hopefully there's enough time left in this set she can show what she's got. Natalie Evers to the back row to serve and then to be the setter. Schrader hits it with her left hand, and she's going to get a point out of that one on a diving attempt by Unrast. It's 14-10. New Bremen just has an awful lot of weapons, Mark. And they got a quarterback who knows how to distribute the ball, too. We talk about all those weapons, but she knows how to get the ball to people. Here's Dan Meyer to serve. This is Amelia. Ronebaum hits. And our R1 called a touch. She says, I have it. And so it is 14-11. Why do you need to look at your line judges if you're going to call that touch? <laughs> you, you know you have the touch, and she did look around, but then she took it and said, I called it. Here's this serve by Eifert. Eifert then gets to that one. This will be a hit by Kramer, but she was way behind the 10-foot line, left it short. Timing just really bad on her jump there, so. 15-11, yeah, a long way off the net and tried to make a play. Here's April Baker to serve the freshman. How fun would that be, a freshman that's played half of the time and then gets to come in district finals and serve? Set, hit, point, Reagan Kramer, 15-12. Very local got it to 11 to uh, nine at one point. Very local pulled ahead and now it's a three point lead. Nor Eckstein. Second team all-conference, 48 kills, 65 aces, seven assists, and 219 digs for the junior. Schrader tips it, and it's bumped over by Hillsman, and then a kill. <laughs> you get the first one back on me, I'll just put the second one away. Molina Schrader does it again from the front row. There goes Molina, the sophomore. serve. Kramer hits it. Hits it to Dammeyer. This will be Paul and Rihanna Paul scores. 17-12. Good timeout. Yep. Yeah, it, it is, John. We're in set three and it's starting to get away from him again. It got to five and then Coach Chapel needed a timeout. They got it down to 11 to nine at one point, but uh, you know since that time, it's kind of gotten away from a little bit on a 6-3 run. The free WSN Scores app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. No one covers more schools, more sports, and more scores than WSN. 
So it's WSN in the App Store or the Android Play Store. Got five high school playoff football games for you that will air Friday and Saturday. Sunday night, you can catch two soccer division, uh, two uh, division three soccer finals, boys and girls. Those will be played Saturday and will air Sunday evening on WOSN. Melina Schrader served this. And she gets an ace, 18-12. The girls are going to have to do this on their own here, Mark. Uh, no timeouts left for the Flyers. Here's the set. Kramer. It's at the Powers. And Schrader must have stayed across the line. I think she might have got the net, though, when she, she went did. in there. Nobody caught it. Here's Powers going to just free ball it. And then the block. Oh. Heitkamp got that one. Hike Camp and Olivia Danmeyer. Danmeyer there were the composite block right there at the front row. Put it right back down to the floor quickly. Serving three consecutive points. Schrader going for four. That one won't go for Hillsman. 20 to 12. Schrader again. New Bremen just keeps putting the pressure on. Kramer, and that time she scores. 2013. Here we come, Lindsey Koenig's coming back into the front row now, so with Julia Moeller to the set. Julia Moeller, number five. She's a left-handed player. Schrader sets it all the way across court to Heitkamp. And then free balled over. And Heitkamp oh. got that one. Look out. My goodness. Remember Bull Durham when uh, Luke, Luke Lelouch was going to announce his presence with authority? <laughs> I think uh -oh. we just saw somebody announce their presence with authority. And that she did. Here's Kier Steininger. What's the World Series starts tomorrow? Come on. Oh, there's a big hit on the far side by Kramer, keeping her team in it at 21-15. Nice job, nice job by Reagan Kramer. excuse me. Can't read my own writing. You know, that's why Olivia Danmeyer's almost doubled up in the number of kills for uh, the Cardinals. Set, hit. A block, that was by Koenig. And now it's 21-15. Do the Flyers have a run in them yet? Now's the time. Yeah, they got to put it together right now. Here's Kramer. Good serve. They got their big gun in the front row. Evers will set. Push. Good placement of the ball by Lindsey Koenig. Lindsay didn't get a chance to get back and get a good approach to that ball, so she did the next best thing, the smartest thing to do, and just placed that ball in the left front corner. Reagan Kramer again. Schrader goes and gets it. This will be Reinhardt. And out of the middle, and a good kill that time. Here comes Lindsay Koenig in this set. And this time it's a new Bremen timeout. We're going to break with this one. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but there's a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewers supporting TV44. And we are back. And ace, new Bremen. Here they come. A new ace, Mary Loco. Here they come. i got to get my... Reagan Kramer, nice serve there. Yes, it is. She has served four consecutive points to cut it to three. Another good serve. Schrader tracks it down. This will be Reinhardt. And they save it. They do. Koenig pushes it to power. Schrader dumps it over. And Melina Schrader gets a point. Julia Moeller made a great effort at that ball, just couldn't get enough on it, and she just kind of hit it off the side of her fist. 
went backwards instead of just straight up. 22-18, Abby Powers. Was a good sight out for the Cardinals. The Flyers were looking to run up another point. Kaney hit that one. This will be free balled over by Steiniger. And killed by Koenig. I think Lindsey Koenig is not ready for her senior season to come to an end. Oh, she's starting to come alive. Has she ever. She has one more rotation in the front row, I believe. Yeah, it looks like she's right front. Eva Unrast back to serve. Yep. Schrader sets. Reinhardt put that one across. This is Frank. And Nicole Frank gets a kill. It's 22-20. This is where they should make their run, Mark. You got Julia Moeller setting in the back row. Nicole Frank, the uh, lefty at the opposite, and Lindsey Koenig in the middle. Seven out of the last eight points have gone away to Flyers. Overpass. Schrader saved it, but not well enough for a teammate to do something with it. She made a great effort. 22-21. Oh, Uncle Mo is wearing a blue shirt. There we go. There we go. That ball came out spinning like a top, but she only played it with one hand, so that was all legal. Schrader sets again. High camp. Oh, my, my, my. When you need a point to stop a run, you go to your big gun. <laughs> That's why she has 373 kills coming into the night, and I imagine almost close to 10 already tonight. And she will go back to serve. Her team needs two. Set. Koenig off a blocker. Heitkamp from behind the 10-foot line. Set point, match point. How about that one? That's a lot of practice right oh there. Oh, my, the overspin on that one. Goodness sakes. Melina Schrader knew where her big dog was, and she just threw the ball up and let her put it away. Heitkamp serving for the set and the match. Koenig missed the sideline. Point, Neuberiemann. And the New Bremen Cardinals will win this Division IV district, and their set scores will be 25-20, 25-13, and 25-21. John, I'm not sure the Cardinals can play much better than that against a quality opponent. No, they made a quality opponent look like an average opponent, and we all know that Marion is anything but average. Well, let's talk about Marion Local. They were 20 and 5 20 and on the season, 7-2 and two in the conference, ranked number two in the state, Anthony Chapel's team with their seven seniors, had a wonderful year. Oh, you know, you can't ask for anything better. I wish they'd have played a little better, had a few less unforced errors. But, uh, you know, when you play a great team like New Bremen, they kind of force you into things like that. So you just got to accept that, you know, live to play another day. The New Bremen Cardinals, the number one ranked team in the state, will take this Division Four district. They will go to 24-1 and one on the season. They were co-champions of the... Uh, uh, Midwest Athletic Conference at 8-1, and, and they will now play down at Northmont on the 2nd of November. They will play the winner, Jackson Center in Fayetteville Perry. Those two teams will play in Troy on Saturday. They're going to pass out medals. They're going to take some pictures, and we're going to try to get an interview before we leave tonight. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Lights on, all right, in five, four, three, two, one. We're back at Wapa Kameda, where New Bremen has defeated very local in three sets. We've got the setter, Melina Schrader. Melina, we set up there, we marvel about, how do you decide which weapon you're gonna use when you're on the floor? I don't know, it depends on the pass, but whatever comes to me, the hitter, like if they're talking loud, I usually set the one who's talking the loudest. Okay, so we're watching this, they're making a run at you in set three, and all of a sudden, Olivia Heitkamp gets the ball three times in a row, by design. She was on fire. <laughs> so you're going to go to the hot hand. Yep. Okay. The other question is, you kill the ball very well in the front row. How do you make that decision, right-handed, left-handed, or what are you going to set? I mean, it depends on the pass, I guess. <laughs> okay, how about this one? Final question for tonight, okay? Coach told us about a month ago we interviewed her that you're the hardest-working player on the team. What's your daily workout like in the summertime? 
Um, like before practice or yeah. during practice? Both. Um, we work really as a, as a team. We work really hard in the weight room, and we just persevere through everything. And it's really fun. <laughs> and you've got four seniors on your team. Three of them we get to play a lot. You're headed into the regionals. Going to be a big week for your team, isn't it? Yep, it is. All right, Melina Schrader from New Bremen. I want to thank her for being with us this evening. I want to thank our sponsor tonight. Uh, that was a New Bremen Insurance. We want to thank Lexi. And we want to thank Megan back in the station. She's going to edit it. Abby also helps, helped us put this one together, too. New Bremen in three sets. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Thank you.